It is a privilege to be joined today on the summit by Patrick Dapperco, who is in his seventh season as the head coach at Concordia, coached the Bulldogs four and six last season. We're talking about 2023 now, preparing for the 2023 fall season. But uh, let's go back four and six last season. Bring us up to speed on where you are right now and uh, take us a bit through last year. Yeah, you know, last year was uh, we had really high expectations going into the season. And um, obviously when, when you don't, uh, we didn't start very strong. Uh, it, it took us a while to catch our stride offensively. And when I say we didn't start, start very strong, we started 0-2, um, and our defense played well enough to win in, in both of those games. And so offensively, we, we really had some things we had to figure out and some identities, things that we needed to work through. And uh, as, as the head football coach, you know, I had some things I had to work through as an offensive play caller to try and uh, get things right. And so, um, you know, we had a, a handful of injuries. We lost four offensive linemen uh, by the fourth week of the season, for the season. And so uh, it kind of caused us to recalibrate. And eventually we, we landed on some things that really worked and uh, got some people in the right spots. And uh, we were able to, um, uh, you know, by the time it was all said and done, we had more yards of total offense than any team in school history. Um, which, uh, you know, we're trying to reset that bar. But it, it took – it was like too little too late. It might be the right phrase for that. And we were in a lot of games. Uh, we didn't really get uh, – have too many teams that, that, that just we couldn't play with. Um, we were in we were in some big, some big games, and we were in them late. But uh, ultimately, we, we learned a lot. I think 2022 uh, will be a year that we kind of look back and go, okay, that was a year we kind of figured things out. And uh, super excited about 23. So, Coach, I do remember that. And, and the start of the year you talked about, it, and those were very close games, just those those first two. And But when your offense got going, it got going, and it was a very productive offense. Uh, one of the names that, that I mentioned many times had a chance to visit with, too, last year was Carell Colmoose, who was, uh, all, you know, became a leader then in Concordia in receiving and, and touchdowns and yards and things like that, but he is no longer there. However, the guy that was putting the ball in his hands, DJ McGarvey, who also set some records as well last year, he comes back to you, for you to lead the offense at quarterback. Yeah, we're excited about DJ. Uh, DJ is uh, one of the most competitive players we've had, uh, one of the most competitive guys that I've coached, and he's also a, a fantastic teammate. You know, one of the things that um, – really sticks out about DJ's he is a team first guy and um, that has always been apparent with him uh, he's loyal uh, and, and he's just a, a great guy to have in the locker room he likes to keep things lighthearted. Uh, I have to probably put the reins on him uh, with getting chippy during spring ball you know he's just uh, he, he's definitely a guy who uh, who has a competitive nature about him and and, and it helps us on Saturdays for sure a number of, of new faces I'm sure we'll, we'll be talking about over the course of 2023. One, though, that returns for you, and, and he was a very versatile player. Austin Jablonski, who was a receiver, he's seen time at quarterback. He's been able to carry the ball for you and obviously a, another key to your puzzle for this year. Yeah, yeah. Austin is, is one of the most uh, – he works really hard to get to where he's been, and he's got so many giftings and skills. Um, he's a mismatch for uh, for smaller defensive backs. He's a hard guy to tackle. He's smart. Uh, he can throw the football too. So he's a you know there's some wildcat things that we can do with him, and um, you know he's just he's got a ton of experience. Um, he's, he's he's older, um, great, phenomenal leader, really strong work ethic. Uh, just a good example of what we want in, in a Bulldog football player. And, and he's one of many uh, that, that are good examples that we have in our locker room. And so, uh, yeah, excited about Austin, what he's going to be able to do this season and the ways that we're going to use him. Coach, you mentioned briefly offensive line and, and some injuries there, and it was a bit of a, a mix and match for you last season, but you have some depth coming back talk about your offensive line and and you know we, we talk about these skill players too but these are the guys that are really going to help get things done for that offense this year yeah we have uh, you know anytime that you uh, you score any points uh you're going to be as good as your offensive line regardless of what you're doing and so we want to make sure that uh you know we give those guys credit because that's what credits do um blake schlegel uh, is one of our returning starters at offensive line he was he did not start the season as a starter we had a lot of injuries last year in that group and but blake schlegel um christian schlepp toby hager jackson anderson um 
uh, Tyler Walford. Uh, you know, we have a, a lot of guys who are who got action last year that you know they didn't they didn't necessarily go. We didn't go into the season go okay. These guys are going to see a lot of action. And we're we're going to need uh, we're going to need all. Of them. Gavin Mull is another one uh, who got injured last year. Um, it's back and and so. Um, you know, we got a scrappy group. They're hardworking, and uh, I think they're certainly fun to coach. We're speaking with Patrick Daverko here on the Summit on Midwest Sports Net. We're previewing the 2023 college football season here. As uh, I encourage you, please subscribe to the channel, Midwest Sports Net. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Uh, Coach, the offense was productive as as you went along, and it's uh, it's nice to get to hear about all those names too. Defense for you. This year, one of the returners, Michael Grindy, led the team in tackles last year, a linebacker for you, and, and is going to, looks like, lead the way for this defensive uh, front. Yeah, um, Michael Grindy is uh, he's one of a kind. He's a, he's a fantastic leader. Um, he's, he's like the guy who uh, you walk into the room and you're like, okay, this guy's had three Red Bulls before I even woke up. Uh, you know, he brings that kind of energy to things. Um, he's not, not very quiet. He's always, uh, always, uh, he's kind of quarter, he, he quarterbacks a lot of things we've had to, it, it's pretty rare when you have a, a, a guy who you have to tell him like, okay, you got to communicate less. And that's what, that's been a coaching point for Michael is because he, he's just, he wants, he's a coach on the field. He wants to get everybody lined up. Um, and, and he is, uh, he, he's a great, great linebacker and he'll put his chest on you and, uh, once, once you're hit, you're stuck. And, and so he's, he's a very good, uh, very good leader and just a guy that you, you want other guys to be like and be around and, um, yeah, great to have in the program. He's, he's a, his impact on, on, on our program is, is probably, um, is really hard to gauge because of the energy that he brings and the effort that he puts into, into his work. Cause he's not a natural athlete. He'll tell you that uh, he has to work for everything. And, um, and he has maximized his talent and will continue to maximize it uh, through his work ethic. Coach, I mentioned front just a, a moment ago, and I may have gotten ahead of myself. I, I, I know that uh, Grindy's a linebacker, but take us through that front too, defensive line, and, and uh, what are Bulldogs fans going to see this year? Oh, yeah. You know, we have a really good um, – uh, you know, Coach Osten, our D coordinator, he, he kind of cut his teeth as a, as a, as a D-line coach, and – um, and Ron Jackson does a phenomenal job uh, coaching that group. Um, Jordan Cavillac is going to be a senior for us this year. Uh, really excited about um, what he brings to the table. Um, and, and then we have uh, guys like Devon Pauley, um, who really anchors things down in the middle. Tal Solo uh, got some really valuable playing time last year. Um, Kyle Stirrup is a guy who um, he's got he, – he, in, in high school, he – he was a pole vaulter and a sprinter, and now he plays defensive end for us. And um, he has he has a really long reach. He's a real problem to block, and I, I really expect him to have a, a, a really good year, kind of a breakout year. Last year, uh, he really made some waves, and um, we had a really deep uh, a deep defensive line group in the conference. Um, but, you know, we have, we have other guys who are working hard. Stephen Hughes has gotten time as a pass rusher, and, uh, he's honing his skills, and so we, we really feel like we have a good group there uh, that has has put in uh, has put in the work, and um, really excited to kind of see how that plays out for us this fall. Coach, I mentioned DJ McGarvey, and he is a fantastic quarterback and can throw the ball well. But the the G Pack has uh, a number of quarterbacks, a number of offenses where you've got some prolific passers. Yeah. Talk about your secondary then that is going to be assigned with the task to try to keep some of those teams, uh, keep all of those teams in check. Yeah. You know, so our, our secondary is um, it, we have some veterans in it. Uh, it. We have two guys who are, who are local, Gabe Nisley and Carson core um, who both come back with experience. You know, I feel like Carson has, Carson came in as a wide receiver. He was like a, a stud wrestler in high school. He's kind of has that dog mentality. And um, it, we moved him to defensive back. Uh, two years ago, and he really just took to it well. And, um, you know, he can play corner or safety. Uh, we've had uh, like Carson McCarter, uh, Jaden Sire. Anytime you, you start naming guys, you leave other guys out. Dalen Henson had a great spring. Um, Aiden King and Isaiah Connor, uh, both guys who've gotten really good playing time. Uh, Miles Lyons uh, is a guy that we expect to have a great season for us this year. And so um, we're, we're really excited about uh, – 
class A or the uh, the class of guys we have coming in, but um, we feel like they'll get they'll get mentored by some upperclassmen who are who have really uh, done a good job of embracing the roles. Coach, I think anytime you recruit well in the state of Nebraska, you're going to get kids who are former high school wrestlers who were very yeah. <laughs> very good at what they did, and if you can uh, get some football out of them, then then you're doing your job well. Natural athletes that, that come in to do that, Coach uh, Ty Harold. Uh, gone, kicked the ball for you last year. Cole Moose, who did – I'm not so sure. I I, I want to make sure – did he actually sell popcorn too? I mean, he did everything <laughs> for you. And he was punting for you, returned, all kinds of things that he did. He's not coming back. Special teams, maybe a question mark there? Yeah, uh, to an extent. We have some we have some punting experience coming back. We have some kicking experience coming back. Um, and then we have, we're bringing new guys into the mix that are going to come in and compete early and um, – uh, it should be good competition. We have talent at that at that uh, at those spots, and so that's what we're excited about. And we're not we're not void of people. Uh, we just haven't identified who they are yet, and so uh, we're excited to have that competition in fall camp. And um, the guys are certainly working hard um, preparing for that right now. Season gets started September second, and it's uh, not going to be an easy one to get started. You have the defending national champions coming into town, of course, the GPAC. Always a tough league, and and you get Northwestern on September second coming to to Bulldog Stadium. But then you go on the road at Jamestown September 9th, at Dort September sixteenth. Come back home for homecoming against Dakota Wesley, and then after two weeks on the road, take us through the start of your schedule. Yeah, you know the the schedule is the schedule. The deep back is going to be tough, and and we're here for it. You know we embrace that. Um, we're going to play those uh, the, the, that ten game schedule no matter what order it comes out in. And um, what what better way to kick it off than against a team that just uh, won it all? And so we're really excited for that opportunity. Um, our guys don't back down, and and we're excited to uh, to, to take on Northwestern um, when they come here. Coach, it is fun year in and year out to follow the Bulldogs, and we will do so again in 2023. So success to Concordia, to you, to your staff, and to your team. And thank you so much for taking time with us today, Coach Patrick Daberko, in his heading into his seventh season. Uh, let me give you a little bit more summertime, but heading into his uh, seventh season as the head coach, longtime member of the program as well there in Concordia, and success to you all this year. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it.